Greetings and salutations, travellers. Welcome to the first episode of Slice and Dice. So please, sling your cloak over an orc, put your feet up on a halfling, pour yourself an unpleasantly green glass of Gork's Grotty Brew, and join me as I cast a beady eye over everything in wargaming that isn't made of plastic. Or metal. Uh, or, or resin. We all have our little secrets. It's a fact of life. I, for example, enjoy nothing more than to make little period costumes for my cat and my girlfriend's dog and have them act out famous historical events such as the Treaty of Versailles or the Cuban Missile Crisis. Is that something to be ashamed of? Probably. I know for a fact that my brother likes to dress up in a blue jumpsuit and pretend he's on the deck of Battlestar Galactica every time we have a family emergency. Is that something to be ashamed of? Probably. But going down to your local gaming club, commanding a force of albeit plastic troops to wipe out an enemy force for the glory of your race, is that something to be ashamed of? Hmm. There are still so many young guys and girls who are embarrassed to tell people that they play 40k or War Machine or Battlefleet Gothic or whatever. And I find this brain shrivelingly weird because it's not cool for them to admit playing a tabletop game, but it's perfectly acceptable for others to go on about how they prestiged for the 210th time in Modern Warfare, or how they were up all night helping Master Chief kill his millionth space midget. Now, I know this isn't true for all of us, but it certainly was true for me, and it is sadly true for some other people. If you ask me, it's all a question about the voice of the people. When you're a kid, you desperately crave the approval of other kids. If the whole class at school likes Jersey Shore, you better like Jersey Shore, or at least pretend you do to save yourself from social embarrassment. However, as time passes and you get older, you find that as soon as one person says, Actually, I don't care for Jersey Shore. I find the cinematography bland and the pacing flat. Moreover, I find the characters to be quite frankly Euripidean at best. Then, everyone starts voicing their opinion and it turns out that nobody liked Jersey Shore in the first place and that everybody absolutely hates Mike the situation. Okay, I'm going off on a complete tangent here, but the rules kind of apply. If we don't use our voices to explain proudly and loudly how cool our game of choice is, then no one else will have the courage to find their voice. Point in fact, I was once at a party. I was 16 and I was talking to this abnormally charismatic guy that I'd just met. The kind of dude that everyone at the party thinks is uber cool. The usual boring question and answer session was going on. What kind of bands do you like? What football teams do you follow? Until he asked me randomly, so, what else do you get up to? Eager to impress, I didn't want to blurt out, eh, <laughs> I play Warhammer, it's cool. But this time, I thought, who cares? If he thinks I'm weird and a loser, then he ain't someone I want to know. Finally, finding my voice, I explained that I played this board game and that I collected this race called Orcs and that I never won because I have less brain cells than a mushroom. He looked at me with a raised eyebrow. Seriously, he said. Turns out that he collected the Imperial Guard. As we got talking, three other guys joined us. They too were 40k players. By the end of the night we were planning games and no one bothered us. Because we found our voice and we proved that if we didn't care, nobody else cared. My advice to any young chaps or chapettes who haven't yet found their voice and aren't cool about talking about their hobby for fear of being labelled a geek, a loser or whatever is this. Think only, my brothers and sisters, of how it makes you feel to play the game. If you feel happy every time you win a battle, compete with your friends, or just watch a battle report, then proclaim it, my brothers and sisters. Testify, start the ripple, and you won't just help yourselves, you will help the greater and wider world. So let me put it to you again, my brothers and sisters. If you are a person who truly enjoys going to your local gaming club, commanding a force of albeit plastic troops to wipe out an enemy force for the glory of your race, is that something to be ashamed of, brothers and sisters? I can honestly swear to you, it sure is not. Gamers and proud, until next time, peace. <laughs>